Comrades, good afternoon. I'm, uh, it's a pleasure to be here. I live in Liverpool, in England. Um, I come originally from Nigeria. And I'm here to be part of the French Festival as, at the end of a tour of, the, of Canada with uh, a play titled called Mr. Robeson. Even here in the labor movement, I expect there'll be a few people who know nothing about Paul Robeson. So successful was were the efforts of the authorities to uh, eradicate him from history and from public consciousness. He was born uh, in Princeton in 1898. His father had been a slave. He very rapidly became a very internationally famous actor and singer. Uh, but because of his belief in socialism and trade unionism, he fell foul of the uh, House and American Activities Committee and became uh, a public enemy number one in America after making a speech in which he said that African Americans should not go to war against the Soviet Union uh, when in America they are second class citizens. And his uh, persecution was such that uh, in 1950, his passport was cancelled. And as I say in the play, they wouldn't even let me go into Canada. Imagine. But then the trade unions hit on a great idea. We held a concert at the border, under the Peace Arch. Comrades, I cannot act or sing in any sort of decent place in my own country. And yet the British actors have sent a request saying that they would welcome me in England to play Othello. And at the same time, I have received an invitation, and no invitation could mean more, from the workers, the miners in Wales, where I first understood the, the struggle of Negro and white together to appear in a festival, of, a festival over there in October, and I very much hope to be able to get there to do that. But our government is preventing artists and scientists like a Dr. Du Bois, proudly a son of the Negro people, who has contributed to the advancement of all mankind. They are preventing him from leaving this country to attend peace meetings or scientific gatherings anywhere on earth. And the same goes for countless outstanding American scientists, intellectuals, workers, and trade union leaders too. And as for me, why do they take my passport away? They said that I had been struggling for the independence of the colonial peoples of Africa and that that is meddling in the foreign affairs of the United States government. <laughs> now that's too bad, because I'm going to have to continue to meddle. And I want everybody in the range of my voice to hear, official or otherwise, that there is no force on earth that will make me go backward one thousandth part of one little inch. And now, comrades, brothers and sisters, Joe Hill, and sing along if you wish. I dreamed I saw Joe Hill last night, alive as you and me. Says I, but Joe, you're ten years dead. I never died, says he. I never died, says he. Salt Lake Joe, by Joe, I says, him standing by my bed. They framed you on a murder charge, says Joe, but I ain't dead. Says Joe, but I ain't dead. And standing there as big as life, and smiling with his eyes, he says those they forgot to kill went on to organize, went on to organize. Joe Hill ain't dead, he says to me, Joe Hill ain't never died. Where workers strike and organize, Joe Hill is at their side. 
defend their rights. That's where you'll find Joe Hill. That's where you'll find Joe Hill. I dreamed I saw Big Paul last night, alive as you and me. Says I, but Paul, you're ten years dead. I never died, says he. I never died, says he. I never died, says he. Thank you. Paul Mr. Robson is on at the bus stop theatre this afternoon, tomorrow evening, and uh, Wednesday evening. I've got flyers to give out if you want some. Thank you very much. <laughs>